Susan Stebbing Lizzie Susan Stebbing, December 2, 1885, September 11, 1943, was a British philosopher. She belonged to the 1930s generation of analytic philosophy, and was a founder in 1933 of the journal Analysis. Biography Born in North Finchley, Middlesex, she was the youngest of six children born to Alfred Charles Stebbing and Elizabeth, nay Elstab, and was orphaned at an early age. She was educated privately until she went, in 1904, to Girton College, Cambridge, to study history, though Cambridge did not award degrees or full university membership to women at the time. Having coming across F. H. Bradley's appearance and reality she became interested in philosophy and stayed on to take part one of the Moral Sciences Tripos in 1908. This was followed by a London M.A. in philosophy in 1912. From 1911 to 1924 she held a number of teaching appointments. She was lecturer in philosophy at King's College, London, from 1913 to 1915, when she became part-time lecturer in philosophy at Bedford College, London, this was made a full-time position in 1920. She also held visiting lectureships at Westfield College, London, 1912-20, Gurdon College, Cambridge, 1911-14, and Homerton Training College, Cambridge, 1911-14. From 1915 until her death she was principal of the Kingsley Lodge School for Girls, Hampstead. In 1927 the London University title of Reader in Philosophy was conferred upon her and held in conjunction with her position at Bedford College. From 1920 she taught at Bedford College, University of London, where she became a reader in 1924. She gained it lit in 1931. Stebbing was promoted to professor in 1933, thus becoming the first woman to hold a philosophy chair in the United Kingdom, an event that was headline news. She was also a visiting professor at Columbia University from 1931 to 1932. She was president of the Mind Association from 1931 to 1932 and the Aristotelian Society from 1933 to 1934. Stebbing was a pupil of William Ernest Johnson, according to John Wisdom she was most influenced by G. E. Moore, and was a point of contact with the Vienna Circle, first inviting Rudolf Carnap to talk in the UK. Stebbing's best known student was Max Black. Following her death, a group of fellow philosophers set up the L.S. Stebbing Memorial Fund to endow a scholarship for graduate study in philosophy. This was set up by C.D. Broad, G. Jeb, C. A. Mace, John McMurray, G. E. Moore, H. H. Price and Helen Woodhouse, with Dorothy Tarrant as secretary treasurer. The Susan Stebbing Studentship now offers a stipend each year to a female graduate student in philosophy at King's College London, with which Bedford College merged in 1984 thinking to some purpose. Stebbing's most popular work is Thinking to Some Purpose, 1939, which was described on the cover of the first Pelican Books edition as being. The work arose out of a synopsis she wrote for a series of radio broadcasts intended for the BBC. Published on the eve of the Second World War, Stebbing wrote. Some of our ineffective thinking arises from a proper desire to have a confident opinion about complicated issues. Unfortunately, few true statements about a complicated state of affairs can be expressed in a single sentence. We easily fall into the habit of accepting compressed statements which save us from the trouble of thinking. Thus arises what I shall call potted thinking. Works. <laughs>